Hello YouTube, and today I've got a very interesting topic that I'd like to discuss, and one that I think was overlooked by a lot of people, especially just the general public, the casual film viewer, um, and that's scores in movies. And it doesn't have to be orchestral, it doesn't have to be classical, it doesn't have to be techno, whatever. It has to. It's just that a good score in a movie is so, so important. But why? Well, the thing about scores is that I should know, because I've played in my band um, a couple of scores that found, I found in movies myself, and I've come to appreciate it quite a bit, because I realize that if you take the sound out of a lot of movies, they become incredibly stale. And, I mean, some really good examples of that are, like, Schindler's List, I mean, without that violin thing they have in there, I mean, it would just it wouldn't be the same movie. It would be completely t stale unless they had a different score or whatever. But it's very essential to the movie. It sets the tone. It's tone is the important word to keep in mind. And then you have like um, Indiana Jones. Like, how could you imagine him on the top of that cliff looking over the um, the convoy of trucks without the da 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 da. Like, you know, you can't. And then, you know, you got Star Wars, obviously. That's a big one. Um, I mean, like, Fantasia. I mean, without Musa Gorski. No, no, no. Wouldn't, wouldn't work as well. And the reason for this is just that tone is so important to a movie. Because a movie, ha these days especially, a movie has to be new and inventive. And that's what I think a lot of directors fail to do is to create a movie that's new and inventive. And I mean I mean I mean th like like lately in the in the film industry it seems like they're just churning out more movies for cash. And I mean, I think it's ever ever since the 90s, ever since the end of the 90s, there's been a slow decline in the quality of movies w with a, s a few spikes of brilliance here and there, but overall the entire film industry has kind of dropped a little bit. And I think that that's due in, in part towards music and musical scores. Because, I mean, it's just so essential. And I feel like that a lot of them are really stereotypical and, like, cut pay, cut and paste. Like, they're really um, derived from other scores. And they just don't have the impact that they used to. And I know that there's still potential to create memorable musical scores. I'm not saying that if you have a great musical score, it makes the movie because there's a lot of other elements that go into it, such as, you know, acting, direction, special effects, stuff like that. But it's just that you it has to be in there, too. For, in order for a film to be really good, everything has to come together, and if one thing is left out, you'll feel, it'll feel lacking. And I think that musical scores is one of the bigger ones. Um, so, yeah, as far as my favorite film score, I couldn't really tell you, but... Like I said, some of my favorites include Star Wars, Indiana Jones, The Terminator, um, Jurassic Park. Um, I'm trying to think of really ones that really stuck in my head. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'll I'll have to do like another video on that or something. But I just wanted to, um, if you can, if you're watching this video, I would like if you would comment what your favorite musical score from any film is. It doesn't matter what kind of music it is, but I just want to hear what your favorite musical score is. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later.